Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about transit moon sextile or trying one's natal Jupiter. Now, this may manifest in feelings, emotions, needs, reactions, uh, family, uh, being in harmony with you expanding horizons. If you have, let's say, your natal Jupiter, you know, in Aquarius, it could be through. They're doing something with innovation or computers or astrology or if you say if you have your natal Jupiter um, say it's in Gemini could be doing something that you know, requires manual dexterity like working in uh, auto or refrigeration mechanics or doing um, being in some communication field like data or satellite communications or writing or journalism as some examples this could also be a time where you have, um, where there's a good relationship between the moon and Jupiter. So if you're feeling, you might feel more in the mood to find the truth out, whether it hurts or whether, you know, it, it doesn't. And it could be something, I mean, say if you have a, you know, your natal, you know, Jupiter and Scorpio in the fourth house as an example, you could be finding out some criminal background regarding a family member or someone you're simply close to home with or something in your ancestry. Um, you know, that might have been you know, some secret regarding you know, somebody you know, being involved in something corrupt or you know, criminal related and you might have had suspicions but now you're, you're willing to actually go and be more in a mood to seek the truth. Now keep in mind that this uh, transit doesn't last for a protracted period. It only lasts for about 10 hours on average if you're looking at a 3 degree applying aspect and 2 degree separating aspect with this transit. Now the thing about this too is Jupiter is also about the law um, and the fact that the moon is about you know, the emotions maybe if you're laying down the law on something it's a better chance for it to come out without being overly acerbic and you know doing it in a way you, know, you might be feeling more like doing so but it could come out in you know, a better way if you have to set someone straight on something or you know, something's been going on that's been exasperating you for a prolonged period, this could be a good time where you could actually constructively, I would say, um, express how you feel uh, regarding, and also the fact, literally, the fact that Jupiter is connected uh, with the law. This is a time where I would say it's more about, you know, feeling like doing things, you know, lawful. Most people are lawful anyway. But it's about really, you know, emphasizing it a little more so at this time, I would say, than usual. Or if it's a situation that you have, uh, you needed to address regarding the law. You needed to get in touch with somebody, whether it's an attorney or someone, what have you. This could be the time where you'd be more up for it emotionally and you would feel more like doing it, being more in the mood to do so, more so than usual. And this is a time for just general, uh, very good feelings, I would say. You're talking about uh, getting a positive relationship aspect of the moon and Jupiter. And the moon is how we feel our mood, our emotions. Jupiter is connected with exuberance and enthusiasm. So this is the time where you might feel more just you know, just better, just in general, uh, emotionally. Um, if you've been going through some despondency or some depression, this could be the pepper up or time period, I would say. And Jupiter is also connected with sports, so it might be a time when you might feel, you know, this is the time you know, if you want to get outdoors and do something sports related, you may feel more like doing that at this time, uh, more so uh, than you ordinarily uh, would. This is a time where you might be feeling more like taking that, you know, that brisk walk at this time. Even if, it's, even if you can't, like you have something that hinders you, you know, physically, like I do, I don't, I can't do a lot of physical things anymore. I can't engage in vigorous sports, uh, but I can, you know, walk, uh, take a walk outside, take that invigorating walk every now and then. But anyway. And uh, the thing is, the moon is also about our subconscious. So if there's something in you know, on the subconscious, you know, there's a need. You know, at this time, this could be, you know, there might be you know, something more in harmony with going outside. If there's something that you needed uh, to do, you know, that was in, you know, was in the back of your mind. That was something. Um, you know, this is where, this is the time where you're having that good aspect with that, what you want to do. What might be something on the sub subconscious, 
you know, meet if the moon was in Gemini, it could just simply be maybe just some general mobility, or it could be something with writing, you know, at this time, or you know, something with communications, learning more about maybe data or satellite communications. Um, might even be a superficial thrill. <laughs> For all, um, you know, it could be, you know, something where you feel you know, more, where there's more positivity in that at this time, you know, more so uh, than usual. And the thing is, um, it might also be, or say if the transit moon is in Aquarius, it could be something with astrology, you know, maybe you wanted to do something where you wanted to find out a little bit more about that, or astronomy, something with the stars, and this is something where you, where it could be a positive time uh, for that. Um, and the thing too is, um, Jupiter is also about uh, its optimism in general, and this is where, you know, when you feel like doing something, doing it more, you know, with more optimism, with believing that things are going to turn out better, seeing the brighter side of things at this time. Now, Jupiter, uh, anatomically speaking, is connected with the liver, the pancreas, the sciatic nerve, uh, hips, and obesity. So this is a thing where if you have something anatomically uh, connected with Jupiter, uh, which I just described, and you've had some ongoing issues, again, going back to the feel and the being in the mood to do something about this uh, at this time, it's more where you'd be more apt to do so um, at this time, uh, more so. Uh, than usual, and um, you know, this is a, you know, it could be where the mother and home family members, people you're close to home with, could be more supportive of what you're going to do in regards to, or they may be able to help you in terms of what are you going to do about that you know, situation if you do have something going on anatomically that is connected uh, with Jupiter uh, at this time, and. The thing is, the moon is also about the public, so you might feel more enthusiastic and exuberant about doing something. It could be public related, whether you're you're in sales or you're doing something. You might simply be working in a store where you're dealing with the public. This could be a more auspicious time for dealing with that, uh, more so uh, than usual um, at this time. So this is a uh, time to um, you know looking at you know, this. Um, transit um the jupiter is also about publishing and advertising so this is a time where the public if you do get something published at this time where the public may be more in favor of whatever it is you're publishing and advertising at um at this point in time and going back to you know, aquarius as an example say the name of jupiter is an aquarius it could be some publication of computers or astronomy or innovation or even science fiction uh, as some examples. Uh, with Jupiter also being connected with higher education, this could be the time when you're more emotionally about doing things uh, college related, say if you are enrolled in you know, college studies where you feel more like doing this. Uh, at this time, more so than the usual now. The mother or family members may be in favor of this at this time. Let's say this transit is occurring at a time when you have just started a higher education course or you're about to embark on a college study or course. This could be a time where the family, um, you know, people you're close to home with, prominent women in your life may be more in favor of it at this time. Uh, Jupiter is also associated with traveling abroad, foreign travel. So the same would apply with that. The family, uh, mother, people you're close to home with, uh, could be more in favor of that at this time. You may feel more like doing that uh, at this point in time. And it could also be a time to where, I mean, let's say the natal Jupiter is in Pisces, it could be taking a sea voyage, or you know, Jupiter is natal Jupiter is in Aquarius, it could be a very unusual uh, trip, natal Jupiter in Capricorn is another example. It could be one that was premeditated, and the one that you had planned for some time. Now, the thing about this, too, is to keep in mind Jupiter is also connected with extravagance. So, I mean, you might feel more like being extravagant this time, but it doesn't mean that, you know, you have to, or you might be able to afford to do this at this time, because it might be, because you are talking about a favorable, you know, aspect, and, but, but it's still important not to go overboard. I say, you know, 
everything in moderation, including moderation. So, hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. Now, another way this transit that can manifest, it might be something you may feel, again, you know, the moon like expanding horizons, which is Jupiter. Again, going back to Jupiter and Aquarius as an example, it could be expanding horizons through astronomy, astrology, computers, um, as some examples. Uh, the mother and family, which is the moon, uh, can be more in favor uh, of a sport. Uh, which is Jupiter that you like. Now let's say, for example, if the natal Jupiter is in Aries, um, it may be you know, something with um, football, because that's a violent sport. Boxing, karate is some example. Those are combat sports. And it could also be a very auspicious time to respond, which is the moon, to publishing and advertising. And you know, let's, uh, which is Jupiter. Um, now let's say, for example, if the natal Jupiter is in Scorpio, it could be doing um, something, publishing or advertising, the occult, or something with locksmithing or psychology, the occult, which can include astrology as some examples. And it might be a time where you can easily express your feelings, which is the moon, uh, regarding your beliefs and could be religion, which is Jupiter. If the natal Jupiter is in Capricorn, as an example, it could be very conservative, orthodox, uh, conventional uh, beliefs and religion um, at this time. Uh, also, to uh, prominent women in your life, which is the moon, may be um, people you can express. You know, you're really, uh, really, um, really express your beliefs with, or or may play a pivotal role in you expanding your horizons. Um, at this point in time, safety, you know, natal Jupiter is in Sagittarius. It could be through, you know, religion or sports or you know, doing some really publishing or advertising, working as like maybe a new translation or printing press operator as some examples. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Learner at Saints. Stay well.